Avast mateys and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia and we're entering the lost city of Rixus. You have found the gates of Rixus. A huge stone face that stands quietly, buried deep in the forest of Ixataka. The stones have been fitted so tightly together that not even an insect could crawl between them. It's a remnant of an ancient civilization. So we found this place by going to the point where both the Great Bird and the Golden Man Discoveries pointed towards. And when we found those two, we also found some gems in the eyes. And we need them to open up the gates. But first, and most importantly, we have a chant to collect for people. Okay, now let's go and open the gates. There's an indentation just big enough to fit a small gem. Let's try putting in the Golden Man's eye. I wouldn't call that a small gem, Vise. It's bigger than your head. We can probably sell for quite a lot. And now let's put in the gem from the Great Bird. And the gates to Rixus have opened for probably the first time in millennia. So let's get started and let's get the green moon crystal. We're also going to get lots of money because we've been told the place is lined with gold. Now I know why they call this place the City of Mist, but I don't remember seeing any mist in the forest. The air's thin, it's a little hard to breathe, we were going up for a long time. I think these mists are actually clouds. But this doesn't look like anything like a lost city of gold, there's just a bunch of ruins up here. In the old world, Rixus was the capital of the green civilization. It was destroyed by the rains of destruction. Since then, it's been frozen in time. These craters must have been caused by the moonstones that were bombarding the city. I'm not seeing any gold here. As time passed, stories about the city probably got more and more exaggerated. We were supposed to find gold here. I should have slapped that dirty old man silly when I had the chance. What the? Vyz, if the city's been dead for generations, then who is that? What? Where? Over there! Well, I don't see anything. Huh, but, but there was someone there! Ica, the city's been dead for a very long time. Who else would be here? It's probably just your imagination acting up. Why don't you believe me? I know I saw something. Fina, do you think that maybe I saw a ghost? A ghost? Um, what's a ghost? Oh, Fina, your obliviousness never gets old. <laughs> it's been a while since you last said something like that. A ghost is, um, how should I explain this? Well, it's something very scary, that's for sure. Really? Well, if you're this scared, Ica, this ghost must be really something scary indeed. The two things I hate the most right now are dirty old men and ghosts. Guys, let's, let's not go, we'll be cursed. Oh, come on, Ica, we came all this way for the green crystal. We're not about to go back empty-handed. You can just wait here until we get back. Oh, no, I'm not going to wait here all by myself with those things out there. All right, all right, I'll go with you. I can't believe I'm doing this. So 
So now we can see how dangerous um, and destructive uh, Reigns of Destruction really was. A single moonstone did that, and millions fell from the moons, so that's why the population was so decimated. Now before we go forward, let's just double check if there aren't any sneaky chests here. Okay, good. Alright, so there's two ways to go here. We can either go left or right. Let's go left. And let's have a look at who we're going to be fighting. Oh, hello dear. I'm sorry. I had to do it. Okay, let's just start with a lambda burst, see how much damage that does. Nice hit, dear. I'm sorry. Right, so we can one-shot the dogs, but not the deers. How dare they survive? I'm sorry, I can't resist all the deer puns. There's too many. So then, as per usual, we're just going to spam Lambda Burst in basically every fight here. Since most of the enemies are probably going to die to it, Lambda Burst remains overpowered for this point of the game. So we're going to make good use of it. So there is a large type of enemy that's here, and hopefully we'll get to see it, because I think it's a unique one. Let's see, is there anything up here? Nope, the crater blocks us. So yeah, since um, this lost city was bombarded, it's going to be difficult to get around due to all the uh, moonstone destruction. Ah, and here we see the big enemy. His name's Slothstra, the giant sloth. Well, let's uh, cut this fury, the guys, see how much damage we do. And everyone else pick one of the butterflies. I like that when this guy gets hit by a normal attack, he just covers, covers his head. Man, this guy's beefy, he's got a lot of health. Yeah, Cupol's uh, cannonball form never gets old. Sadly, we won't be able to use it for too much longer because we're going to get a second Aberic Cham soon and then it will, it will be replaced by a new one. Well, let's just keep, uh, cut this fury, the guy. Ah, he just spits at us. What a jerk. Ah, another cut this fury for you. So hopefully we won't fight too many of these guys, but I'm wanting to still see um, this special move it does. So hopefully we'll get to see that. Okay, let's continue exploring. So there's more of these lifts up here as well. And we can't get into combat while we're on them. So we can use them to travel around nicely. Gonna see any new enemies? Oh, another sloth. At least this time he's facing us, so he might get to do a move on us. Well, everyone pile on him. Here goes. I do really like how he covers his head. It's like, oh man, that hurt. Ah, 
I just drop a cannonball on his head. Oh come on, there's no need to counterattack that, it was funny. You jerk. Yeah, we probably shouldn't be attacking with Fina, because all, all we do with her is get hit back. She doesn't really do that much damage. Right, and here's his super move, Quake. Okay, that looks bad. And that is a big chunk of damage. The Vizen Drachma can easily take it, but the girls get hit quite badly by that one. So this is a good opportunity, if we um, go before Vise, to use Sacrum, which will heal everyone in the party. Uh, luckily Vise missed, so we get the chance to do it. Moons, give me strength. So Sacrum is debatably the best healing move that you can do from the Green Magic School in this game. Because even though Sacru Len will fully heal us, which is the final move, it only hits one target while this hits everyone. So being able to heal everyone is really good. <laughs> I just love how the Sloth's like, melee attack is to just really gently slap you with his claws. Alright, luckily the confusion's faded. Okay, let's just finish this guy off. Uh, sadly, we don't have 10 spirit points. I just wanted to do a tackle then. To repay him for hitting Drachma with a crit. We did it. Indeed we did, Fina. An Eye of Truth. That sounds interesting. What's that? The Eye of Truth. Boost defense and magic defense, especially to purple magic, and protects against confusion. Oh, that will be useful, because quite a few enemy- well, at least that guy does do confusion. We probably don't get stoned anymore, so let's get confusion protection. Actually, we're gonna get it with Fina, because, um... Oh no, she's got the Quetia Feather. We'll keep that with her because everyone's calling her Quetia at the moment, so it feels like that's um, something we should keep on. Because it's Femic. We'll take it off after we're done with this area of the game. Let me get some Ryzen crystals. Excellent. Well, excellent because it's a treasure, not excellent because of the item. Fina's finally learnt Ryzlum, so now we can guarantee a revive. Oh, hello, dear. Sorry. Let's just kill it quickly before I make more deer puns. Let fire consume our enemies. Oh, hey, one of those guys survived. I don't know how it managed that. Well, Fina, drop a cannonball on his head. Indeed you did. Alright, let's now try and enter the ruins proper. Oh, that was a very quick fight. I wonder if there's a minimum step counter in this game. Oh, we're fighting totems. Excellent. Well, as per usual, everyone pick a target. Lambda burst. And everyone just- oh wait, we should probably mention that uh, we did get a new weapon with Drachma as well. We got the Mace Hand. So let's use that for a bit. The Mace Hand is more powerful than um, his other weapon, but its accuracy is terrible. But we'll put it on for a bit. Okay, these totems really do not need um, any extra damage. A Lambda Burst will definitely kill them. Let fire consume our enemies. We did it. It's a pity that the totems are such weak enemies because they look really cool. 
hopefully we'll have a chance to see them attack us in melee range at some point, because it is quite funny. Let's see. Where do we go now? Oh, we go down here, it looks like. Is there a sneaky treasure chest? And more totems. Well, you know the drill. Lambda burst. Let fire consume our enemies. It's hard to tell if we get a back attack on that with these guys, since we have heads on both sides. See, is there a sneaky chest? No sneaky chest. How about this way? Nope. Yes, yeah, so all of these uh, moonstones that fell during the Reigns of Destruction are getting in the way of our path. Which is a bit annoying, so we have to work our way around. Okay, that's definitely something. I wasn't imagining that. Although Ica does have a rather um, imaginative imagination, I guess I should say. With all those illustrations we get when we enter a new area, like Visor's hair being on fire. Oh, time for a Lambda Burst, as per usual. And all they're gonna do is assess damage. Let fire consume our enemies. That was fun. Right, is there a sneaky chest here? There is a sneaky chest. And we get Sakulen crystals, so that's the uh, best heal in the game that I mentioned that will fully heal you. Yeah, there's another platform here. Where's this go? It looks like this will take us back to the entrance. So we can't get into combat while we're on these lifts. So this is definitely a convenient way to get um, back and forth. It's also nice just to be able to examine the place. Sadly we can't um, pan the camera or go into first person view though. So we can't get a look around while we're on this. Let's pan the camera and then go on it. That was a massive moonstone that caused that hole beneath us. It must have been terrifying for the people back then when the moonstones fell. You can't even imagine what must have gone through their minds at the time. Such overwhelming destruction all around them. Right, so now time to go to the confusing area here. So, there's quite a few paths to take with lots of different um, flying machines. So we're going to try and take the wrong path first to get all the extra treasure before we go the right way. Since of course that's how you're supposed to do RPGs, you always go the wrong way first. Right, let's go out here. Let's check upstairs. Ah, robot dudes. <laughs> okay, that's a good camera angle game. You're inside the wall. Thank you. Well, as per usual, um, everyone pick a target, do a lambda burst, and see if they survive. Okay, they'll probably die to the Lambda Burst alone, it looks like. Yeah, they don't have much health, which is a shame, because they look unique. Fire 
we're not going to skip over Lambda Bursts, we're just going to skip them uh, quite commonly now, since we've seen it quite a lot of times. It is fun to watch though, so I do like to watch it. Let's see what's upstairs. Ah, a champ for Kupo, excellent. And here's a treasure. It feels like that was a mimic and not a random encounter, which means maybe it's our old friend. It is, it's Sylvan Bane for the second time. Oh, let's swap to purple since he's red. So we've already met Sylvan Bane once before. Uh, you try and punch him in the face, even though your accuracy is terrible. So we fought Sylvan Bane in the Temple of Pyrin, and he was guarding a treasure. So we're going to fight this guy multiple times throughout the game. And each time you'll drop both a seed and a treasure. So he's always worth fighting. There's also um, a special boss you can fight later in the game as well, if you fight all of these. So you definitely don't want to pass them up. Hey, you actually hit it! Congratulations, Drakva! Right, let's do a tackle on him and see how much damage that does. Since the tackle cannot miss, so his extra damage from this mace weapon will be put to its full effect. Let's get a bit of sword action. And now time to punch him in the face. It's been a while since we last did this. I think he's still alive. That's a bit frustrating. But it did do a lot of damage. I think that did more than Cutlass Fury. Which is very nice. Right, now let's go back to our original weapon since he's basically dead. Um, everyone just pile on him. And you go back to silver. Right, let's see what we get this time. And we learned Ryzan. And a major seed. And we get a golden mask. So let's have a look at those two items. And we are now Vise the Admirable. So the Magus or Mega Seed will um, is from the Silver Moon. And we'll increase our max MP by 1. We're going to give that to Fina since she's the main uh, mana user. So yeah, these Sacral Crystals will fully heal a single target. And the Golden Mask is a valuable treasure sought by Sylvan Bane in Rixus. Okay, let's continue. Is there any... Uh... Okay, there's something we can take here. Let's um, examine over here first. Ah, yeah, there's another treasure. Extra money. Okay, so it looks like we've done everything we can so far, so let's continue along the path. Where's the lift? There it is. We don't want to miss it. Right, so there's only one stop with this lift. Let's check out downstairs first. And we get a Moonberry. Right, I think Fina can now learn her next super move. Yes, yeah, she can, excellent. Cupel summons a storm to damage and remove any beneficial effects from all enemies. Luna wins. 
So now we can actually remove Inkram off the um, enemy boss fights if they use it on themselves. See, there's nothing there. Let's go upstairs. And just more of these dudes. Well, we know what to do. Let fire consume our enemies. Even Garden, uh, that totem died in one hit. So it has 75 or less health, which is ridiculous for this point of the game. Is there any bonus treasure here? There is. The light coat. Let's examine that. Fina could do with wearing a light coat. Oh, nope, that's her accessory. We want her armor. Yes, a lightweight coat that increases the wearer's agility. That's a massive upgrade to what she has now. It's also better than the female armor. Now, I wasn't sure about equipping the female armor yet, since I thought that might have been too powerful at this point in the game. But we may as well equip it then if we have a stronger thing now. We got the female armor from, um... The, um... Moonfish. Giving the Moonfish to Maria's burb. Is there anything this way? Let's see what's over here. There be a Moonfish. Right, so if we take this lift, we can get back to where we were before. So now we've accessed another shortcut. I mean, we're probably not coming back, so we shouldn't need it. Right, so we can go here. This lift doesn't seem to go very far, so let's take it. Because it looks like there's a treasure over there. And when I see a treasure, I want that treasure. Well, that was an annoying fight. We just got put to sleep again. Well, let's continue. And we get the Ruin Arm. That sounds like a weapon for Drachma. It's got a little less attack power, but the accuracy is five times as good. A strange arm based on unknown technology, left behind in the ruins of an ancient city. So we're definitely going to be using that. Okay, and let's also, while we're in the menu, we're going to uh, Sacrum again. Just to get Vise a bit higher. Okay, is there any other treasure here? Nope, there isn't. Okay, so we're going to take this back. And then we'll continue. I think we're nearing the end of this section now. See, any sneaky treasure chests? Nope. But there is a sneaky battle. And just more of these jerks. Well, this time you're gonna die. Not being put to sleep again. And we're gonna watch as they burn to death. Because they all deserve it. Seems like the camera consistently goes um, behind a wall during these fights here. You, you would think that they would have picked up on that while they were testing, but apparently they didn't. At least it goes invisible so you can see through it. Right, so we can drop by here, but I remember seeing a treasure here before, so we're not going to miss it. An Ickle Seed. Maybe it's an ice or seed. If it says it's under the purple moon, then we're going to call it an ice or seed. Yep, full purple moon. Definitely ice or. Increases willpower by three. We're going to give that to Fina. I 
still haven't checked up what each um, stat actually does in this game yet. But I'm guessing that that will make her restore more spirit when she focuses. Or deal more damage in combat with magic. One or the other. Maybe magic resist. Who's that? That's it. That's the ghost I saw earlier. Well, it's definitely not a ghost. Oh, it's running away. Who'd be lurking around in a place like this? Don't let him get away, boy. Right, so we need to find a way to cut this guy off before he keeps running around in circles. So, let's chase him again. So he goes forwards. And then is he here again? Yes, he is. So we're going to chase him towards the area we were in before, since we saw there was another path there. And now we're going to turn around and outsmart him by sending him the wrong way. There we go. And let's hunt him down. That's a red jewel. Which discovery did you get that from? Alright, before we take this, let's just quickly check for any sneaky treasure. Can we examine this? This statue. It looks like the statues are at the entrance of Rixus. Nah, we can't examine where we got the eye from, sadly. He left another lift down, so let's chase after him. Well, we really truly are high, aren't we? So yeah, we're above the clouds at the moment. So yeah, Vi's earlier mentioned we were above the clouds, and you might think, but aren't we always above the clouds? No, there's there's kind of multiple layers of clouds in this game. First, um, as we do this, I don't think there's any fights here, so we'll just explore while I say it. So there's multiple layers of clouds. There's deep sky, which is the lowest level, which no one can go to, otherwise they'd be pushed to death. And then there's like the lower section of the clouds. Um, I forgot what it's actually called, but like lower sky, I think it is which um, is still too uh, difficult to sail down into. And then there's mid sky, which is where everyone sails at the moment. And then there's upper sky, which is where we are now, which um, the air is too light for airships to actually sail. All right, let's just um, give a save down here since we're coming up to a boss fight, just in case anything goes wrong. So, let's hunt down this ghost and find out what's at the top of this temple. Oh, you're a big boy, aren't you? So, time for another boss fight. Antonio 2 is a big pushover, so we're going to see if this guy's capable of a lot more. What's your name? Rick Talish. Nice to meet you, and it's time to die. So we're going to start as normal by increment thighs. And Fina just get our focus up, and Drachma, go red and punch it in the face. Circle of Panic. So, this boss is able to confuse me, and it went on Vise, who does most damage. But luckily our armor's pretty good, so we managed to resist most of it. Well, 
Like, this is probably not the best time to um, increment Vise while he's confused. But I guess we're going to have to deal with it. Right, so let's get Vise back. So we're going to do it with Ica because she can go first. So hopefully she'll cure Vise before he attacks someone again. Right, Fina is probably a good time for you to throw out a Lunar Blessing to start healing us. And Dragma punch it in the face. So it's worth mentioning, we could probably two-shot this boss with Pirate's Wrath. However, that's kind of cheap. We did it against Antonio too, but it's just the first boss again. But we're going to avoid doing that. Because at this point in the game, Pirate's Wrath is a little bit too overpowered. Oh man, Vice still went before Ica. Yeah, Vice, please stop hitting Fina. <laughs> Ring of Sleep. He really doesn't want us using Vice, does he? Oh, Dracoma, I guess it's your turn to deal the damage. Right, let's increment to Drachma then. And Fina, you just throw out a Curia onto Vise. Just wake him up. We've got a fight to do. He can sleep later. Moons, give me strength. Moons, give me strength. Come on, Vise, get up. Right, this boss is asking to die with a Pyrus Wrath. Oh, you were just guarding this turn. Yeah, so Regeneration Generation is probably going to make us unkillable in this fight, unless, of course, Vice keeps getting uh, mind controlled. Let's throw out a Cutlass Fury. And everyone else just focus up. And Drachma, of course, punch it in the face. Circle of Panic, this time on Fina. So a fun note about Fina when she's confused, her keep all spins around in circles around her shoulder. So luckily confusion in this game only affects physical attacks, so she won't start um, using magic on us. Let's just cut this guy's feathers off. Oh, that's a punch, all right. He's going to be feeling that one. Right, we, let's get Fina back. So for now, let's just do another Cutlass Fury. You throw out a Curia onto Fina. Drachma, punch it in the face. Are you making Fina sleep now? Can you stack debuffs? No, I don't think you can. Okay. Oh, it looks like Fina's having a revenge. Just knocking a cannonball on top of eyes. Moons, give me strength. Okay, welcome back to the fold, Fina. Right, let's cut this guy down to size. He's being a jerk. I say we should work towards a pirate's wrath now. I feel like he deserves it. Now right, you just do a normal attack, everyone else just focus, and next turn, we're pulling out the big guns. And here's where Vice does a critical hit and kills it. Oh no, it actually flapped out of the way. Uh, 
Alright, Drachma's confused. He's gonna punch someone in the face and it's gonna hurt. Probably Vi's again. Oh no, he punched the boss. Even Drachma had enough of that. I guess Drachma must have gotten um, all the punches out of his system. Like when he punched Vi's at the start of the game. Alright, everyone else just, uh, focus, uh, just guard. And we end this in style. Feather Slash. Alright, so that's a frontal attack. Probably does about a thousand damage if we didn't guard. But he's dead anyway. And this is what you get for jerking us around with confusion. and damage. It's always so satisfying. And that's the end of a big burp. <laughs> that was easy. Now we get a couple of levels. And a self seed. It's a shame, I wanted to get more Moonberries. Then again, we already, we're already quite ahead on Moonberries. We already have Pirate's Wrath. Well, it looks like the crystal is probably sealed in here. Ooh. Hey everyone, look over here. The person on this wall looks like Fina. So that must be Quet here. You're right. I wonder if this is that Quetia the village we're talking of about. We who have come from the Temple of the Silver Moon. Fina? We who have come from the Temple of the Silver Moon have sealed within the forests after the rains of destruction washed away the lands, the unsleeping giant Grendel. And upon his ceiling, the green crystal was kept within these walls. This is written in the holy language of a silver temple. The Silvites must be inscribing these words when they were here. These are the ruins of Exotaka, right? Why would Silvites come here? The rains of destruction nearly destroyed the green civilization. But even after the rains fell, Grendel still terrorized the lands for many generations to follow. The Silvites came here to contain him. But they came too late, the green civilization was destroyed, and the people were reduced to a few primitive tribes of scavengers. The people from that village probably thought the Silvites were gods because they were able to contain Grendel. It all makes sense now. That's why they thought Kfina was this Quetia person. But it says the green crystal is kept within these walls, right? But I don't see the green crystal anywhere. I wonder where it is. You're right, it should be here. Huh? Who's there? <laughs> nice try, Drachma. Huh? Punches first, ask questions later. Don't let him get away, he might have a crystal. Ha! Nice tackle, guys. You're going to make Drachma jealous with that tackle. So this is the ghost. Who are you? And why are you following us? Please don't kill me! I'm a high priest of Exotaka! A high priest? So you followed us all the way from Hortica? No, I didn't follow you. I've been here a long time. It's my duty to guard these ruins. If anyone tries to loot what's in these ruins or steal the sacred green stone, I contact Ixataka. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me that the king knew about the lost city all this time? Yes, we figured out Asapa's riddle and we found Rixus. 
and here we found the sacred green stone. The king and the Sapu were very happy because we could use the stone to stop the Valuans. Stop the Valuans? You aren't going to. Tell us, or do you want me to crack your skull? Alright, alright, I'll tell you. The King and Asapa said that the sacred green stone has the power to awaken the giant. If the giant were to come, he would chase the Valuans back to the eastern skies and we would be safe. <gasps> what? Oh, this isn't good. Asapa, now that you're free and the Valuans are busy with Vice and his friends, we can summon the mighty giant. Awaken, giant of the forest. I who hold the sacred green stone command you to destroy our enemies. We already had a terrible time dealing with... Uh, The Red Gygus. So this isn't going to be good. Vise, please forgive us. There is no other way for us to save the forest and people of Exitaka. We were willing to fight for you, mate. We already started. But okay, I guess let's summon uh, Gygus. What could go wrong? What's that rumbling sound? Oh no, not again. Someone is summoning Grendel. The Vyuan flagship of the first Admiral Alfonso, the Sickness. Look over there, so King Ixataka was hiding the crystal from us after all. Ha, <laughs> this is going to be easy. All I have to do is take the crystal from him and the Empress will be pleased. Awaiting orders, Admiral. I like how he says new Vice Captain after he killed the old one. Oh, and I heard that you were injured in the mines. Are you alright, sir? I don't ever want to hear you speak of those mines again, understand? All ships, prepare for battle. Follow my flagship, the Cygnus. Head towards the light and find King Ikataka. Seems like Drachma isn't the only one with a powerful punch. Blast! Retreat! We cannot get past the Gygus. But sir, the battle hasn't even started yet. Why are you questioning my orders? I refuse to die in these filthy lands. All ships return to Valuo at once. Man, Alfonso, how did you ever become Admiral? <gasps> Man, that guy is big. 
Why would they awaken him? Don't we understand that the entire Vyu and Armada will retaliate against them? Everyone, back to the little Jack. We have to stop that thing. Well, this is definitely not good. Because it might be on their side for now, but it's still a Gygus in the end of the day. And those things are just devastating. So we're going to save it here, and in the next part, we're going to try and take down that Gygus. So, see you then.